Hey y'all, Taker here, and welcome back to my channel. Now, if you've seen enough of my videos, you should know by now that I collect a lot of Fate figures. Specifically, Fate Grand Order, sometimes Fate Stay Night, but sometimes even more Type Moon stuff, but Fate figures are my wheelhouse. And there's a particular character that is one of my favorite characters in the series that until today I didn't have any figures of and that character is Lancer aka Ku Colin from Fate Stay Night. I in my beginning of figure collecting I did own a Figma of him as well as a Papa Parade of him but somewhere along the lines I gave away the Papa Parade because it really wasn't my cup of tea. I thought he was sculpted kind of weird and I ended up selling my figmas, all of my figmas, because I wanted to get into scale figures and I honestly didn't have space in my house for scales and figmas so I had to make a choice there. But today I rectify my mistakes and I go ahead and just order a bunch of coup merchandise from figures to just accessories to cosplay props. Heck, I, I speaking about cosplay, I was at Momocon a couple weeks ago and I cosplayed as Koo Caster. So I am I am in deep folks. Like really, really in deep. So let's let's start off small. Let's start off with an accessory that I bought off of Ami Ami um, for Fate Grand Order. Now I really do like the box, definitely keeping that. But you know, forget about the box. The bracelet is what we're going to talk about. This bracelet is really cool because it does contain all of the colors of Lancer's original Fate Stay Night outfit. We have the silver beads, which represent the armor that Kukulin's wearing. We have the blue beads, which is the um, jumpsuit that he's wearing, as well as the red beads that symbolize his gay bulg. So, all together, it's a fantastic piece, and it's all finished off with this silver, this hanging clear disc that has the lancer symbol on it with the spear right in the middle it is definitely a really nice bracelet. I'm, I really do like what they did with this. Now moving on from accessories, we have Kukulin in his Nendoroid form, uh, modeled by Orange Rouge, which usually does male anime figures. Um, and I'll say this is a very nice Nendo. Uh, I said it once and I'll say it again. My Nendo collection is getting kind of ridiculous right now. Uh, but Good Smile Company was having a really good sale on this Kukulin. He was selling for around, I think it was $30 after shipping. And I just felt like I couldn't pass it up, especially because I just didn't have enough Kukulin for my Kukulin shrine. So I had to make that sacrifice to uh, my figure space to add him to the collection. He is pretty well stacked in terms of props. Uh, he's got his regular Gaybolg as well as his regular face, a winking face, and a very menacing um, I'm gonna kill you face. <laughs> um, as well as a prop that has him activating Gaybolg by throwing it which is a very nice touch. That's kind of how I want to prop him up too, just because I don't have enough Nendos in the action pose. So having him activating Gabold, jumping, jumping into the air, looking very serious and angry, I, I like that. I like that faceplate. I like this, this format. So <laughs> this is probably how I'll keep him for the near future. 
but very good Nindo. Um, not much else to say other than that. And now here is yet another Kukulin Lancer. And this is also sculpted by Orange Rouge. But instead of a Nendo, we have a 1 8 scale figure. And may I say, it looks a lot better in person. I was very hesitant on this purchase. Mostly because it wasn't that... The action pose is amazing. The way his base is crushing underneath the weight of his feet, the power that he's exuding, looks amazing. The spear amazing his just this figure is just so dynamic so i'm that is not my problem with this figure my problem with this figure is the face like kukolin in fate stay night he has a very particular face it's pretty mature looking it's like between you know like a i'd say like mid late 20s kind of look a pretty adult looking face i feel like his face in this sculpt looks too boyish like his face still looks like kukulin like it's not like he doesn't look like him he just looks young like he reflects more of his maybe his satanta or kukulin prototype versions of himself so relatively younger than what I expect from Kukulin. But when I think of it in that way, it really isn't that bad. I, I really do like Orange Rouge's interpretation of Kukulin in this sculpt. The sculpt is still fantastic. The way his the way the painting is done on his bodysuit is immaculate. The way the muscles are contracting and contorting as he's sliding across the base excellent the way his hair is sculpted and moving with the like the direction he's moving in great like it is a fantastic fantastic figure and now that's where we're going to end it for lancer coup our fate stay night uh characters now we're going to get more into interpretations of Ku in Fate Grand Order. And who not to introduce but Mini Ku from FGO. And so this is in kind of an interpretation of, of uh, his Berserker form. So Berserker Ku um, in a very cutesy doll um, form. <laughs> it's kind of complicated how this particularly happened to Ku, but it definitely is a was a must pick up for me. Um, originally developed by Anif Anaplex, yeah. Mini this mini Ku doll was made by Anaplex, and kind of the only way to get him at this point is through the aftermarket. It's not terrible, but it's still kind of twice the price you would have paid originally around, you would have originally paid around $25, $30 for him, and now he sells for up to 60 So it kind of sucks. Um, capitalism sucks, but I got him anyway because I frankly did not feel like I would complete my Ku Shrine without Mini Ku by my side. So here we are uh, making sacrifices for my favorite husbando woohoo now that being said let's move on to the other coups that we'll be adding to the collection now here we have a couple prize figures of berserker coup and <laughs> they aren't the highest quality this is kind of i kind of bought these kind of to compare to what i have planned next but we first we have the Chara form, the mini, the chibi mini Ku Berserker, and it definitely is on the lower end of the spectrum in terms of price and quality. It's meant to be kind of like a cute desk figure. Um, 
and it still does his job. I mean, he is adorable. I really do love his eyes, the way they're kind of swirling and red and chaotic looking. Um, it's definitely a nice, inoffensive figure to add to my work desk, which I can appreciate. And the second figure is from a card game that FGO tried to release called FGO Duel. And it was a pretty unsuccessful card game. I believe they discontinued in 20, early 2024, I believe. Um, and the cards, I would say the aftermarket for these figures and its cards aren't really that high. It's about it was about 30, 25 bucks to buy this figure and his playing cards attached to him. Not terrible. Um, and of course the quality is nothing to kind of like write home about. But if you are trying to stack up your shelf full of coup, these are the sacrifices you just have to make. Um, they are still decent and they're nice. Again, a nice desktop figure to, you know, remind yourself about your love for our Lord and Savior coup. With these particular coups, that's five coups on the board. We're doing fantastic right now. I would think that I'm doing this character justice if I say so myself. Um, without further ado, let's move on to the final coup. Uh, the coup to end all coups. The Coup Berserker Altar. Now, a lot of figures that I bought in this haul were discounted. They were lower than how they originally released. I was able to get sales on them. I was able to get good deals. Now, you can probably tell from how magnificent this Ku Colon is. I, I had to pay a pretty premium price for this guy. But I really don't have any regrets. This particular coup altar is probably my, not even probably, he is a grail figure for me. Uh, I've always been kind of like on and off about whether or not I'd pull the trigger on him simply because I was concerned about how good he'd look. Like I seen him in pictures, but I wasn't sure about it. He didn't quite look one-to-one -to, -one to the art which i was kind of hesitant about um there were just a lot of factors uh it's just kind of like i guess i was scared that i'd get the figure in person and realize that it does not match up to the idea in my head about how it look um but i assure you this coup altar figure has exceeded my expectations just absolutely for me at least for me this is as close to perfect as a figure can get in my book there are a couple issues that you can notice there is like a little bit of a sloppy paint job on the white lining of his hood but other than that this is just an imposing figure from how big he is he challenges some of my even my biggest figures like my summer bb and my herbosa like he is just a tall boy on top of the fact that like he just his base is huge but 
it's not huge for no reason because he takes up a lot of space. His tail is menacing with this pulsating red of veins um, traveling down the spine of the tail. It is a eye-catching piece for sure. The way his cape is fluttering in the wind behind him, the fur trim around him with this red halo crown thing sticking out. There's a lot of details on this figure that warrant having a massive base such as this. And speaking about the base, the base looks fantastic as well. The fact that there are just these skulls that are not just, you know, a generic white, but they're textured, they're colored to be more worn, with the way he's just propping his <laughs> dinosaur heels on the top of a pile of skulls like he's just asserting dominance over the corpses of his enemies, triumphantly standing proudly over this. The way he's sculpted, the way he's painted just gives off the air of a truly like a demon lord or a dark emperor. It is just so amazing. Like, even down to the muscles, the the muscle definition, the his crazy thighs and his forearms and arms, the washboard abs, the chest. Just nuts, man. This face sculpt and painting is done incredibly as well. They are, there is a little painting of his teeth, but like the mouth sculpt is also really, really on point. He's just got this, this evil menacing smile that just, just captures that coup alter brilliance, the, the coup alter bad boy energy. I can rest assured that I finally have a Grail figure, another Grail figure knocked off of my My Figure collection list, and it looks good. Like, I I don't feel like any of the pictures I took of him really do him justice, because he looks so much better in person than in the pictures that I saw him in. Like, he is really the statement piece. He is the statement piece for Ku Colon. I... I couldn't be any more happy with my purchase. And if you're on the fence like me, I'm sure I hope that this video kind of like confirms that you aren't crazy, that this is a really, really good freeing and fr I said freeing. This is a really great figure and freeing did a bang up job putting this figure together. And with that, that is really all I have to say. If you liked what you saw, Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. And hopefully, you know, it's not all coup. Unless that's what you want to see, I, I'm not going to judge. Uh, thank you for watching me. See ya!